Close your eyes and watch your breath all the way in, all the way out. Try to keep your mind with the breath. This is an important principle in the meditation. We're not here just to let the mind wander around wherever it wants. We have to have a clear idea of where the skillful places for the mind to be, where they are, and where we're going to keep them there. Because we know if we wander outside of our territory, it's going to be dangerous. We live in an era where people are very conscious of dangers all around them. But the big dangers are the ones that come out of the mind. So this is where you have to pay most of your attention. The Buddha makes a comparison. He says up in the Himalayas, there are areas where monkeys live and human beings don't live. There are areas where human beings live and monkeys don't live. But then there are areas where the monkeys go and the human beings go. And that's the area where it's most dangerous for the monkeys, because human beings set traps. It's very easy for them to get caught. So I said, any wise monkey just stays in monkey territory and leaves human territory for the human beings. In the same way, you can leave your unskillful thoughts outside while you stay in the area of skillful thoughts. Thoughts of generosity, thoughts of virtue, thoughts of training the mind. When you stay in this territory, then you're safe. Because even though dangers can come to the body, they're not nearly as threatening as dangers that come out of the mind. Because the body dies, I mean, that's part of its nature. Its bodies have always died. Once you're born, that's what's going to come. But the goodness of the mind doesn't have to die, and yet we put it in dangerous situations. We expose it to all kinds of things that are bad for it. Greed, aversion, and delusion come knocking on the door, and we welcome them in. It's like wild animals coming and scratching on the door, and you say, come on in. And of course they're going to take over the house. And the good people of the house have no place to stay, because the wild animals are roaming around. So you want to make sure that your mind is protected. The good qualities of your mind stay protected no matter what. Viruses and germs can reach into the body, but they can't reach into the mind. What reaches into the mind is unskillful thoughts. Skillful thoughts, those two. And if you keep the unskillful thoughts out, then the skillful thoughts have a pl safe place to stay and they can develop and grow. And that way your happiness is more secure. So always keep in mind where the real dangers lie and where you have to keep your eye peeled all the time. What's coming in, what's going out of the mind. And do your best to keep unskillful things out and keep your mind in its safe territory. That way, even though diseases may come to the body, they don't have to infect the mind. That's the kind of safety that the Buddha's teachings provide, and it's the best safety of all. <laughs>